do my best to not mess up this pizza. Now that's hard. I smell smoke. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and yes, I know my hair looks kind of crazy right now. I call it raspberry lemonade. It's kind of like the stage where, uh, you know, it's partly blue and partly yellow. I kind of like how it looks personally, but I decided I'm gonna go full gray. If you guys want me to keep it, uh, make sure to tell me down in the comments down below. But anyway, the other day I was just scrolling through TikTok and I found this video. Is that epoxy? Oh my god. Oh my god. Check out the top. Dude. Perfectly. It's a pizza tape. That's crazy. And basically, they made a freaking table out of a pizza. And obviously, I thought that that was the coolest thing ever. So, I've decided to make my own. And my goal is actually to replace this game table. You know, it's a good table. Uh, my neighbor gave it to me. And there is a <laughs> one small problem. And that is that it's a small table. It's literally a dining room table that he cut the legs off of. Now I have to use these cinder blocks to hold it up. Otherwise, it's way too short. And we have to like crouch over. But that means I have to make a table that's this big. So I googled biggest pizza in Las Vegas. And luckily, this is not sponsored by the way. I found a place called Napoli Pizza that sells a 36 inch pizza. I'm hoping that that's 36 inches for the diameter and not 36 inches for the circumference. Because if it's 36 inches for the circumference, that's gonna be like this big of a pizza. But if it's three feet for the diameter, that's gonna be like this big. And I think that's the perfect size for a game table. And luckily, they deliver with Postmates. So that means I don't have to drive half an hour to go get it. So I put up a poll and I asked you guys, what kind of pizza should I make it? And a lot of you guys said pepperoni. So I guess I'm ordering a giant pepperoni. Yeah, okay, it looks like that's gonna be uh, $80.99. I also added a 10-inch uh, buffalo chicken for me. I've never had this pizza before, so I wanted to try it. You know what? Let's give this guy a $20 tip. He deserves it. Your delivery will be here in 65 to 75 minutes. So that gives me time to think about what I'm gonna use to cast it. <laughs> the Home Depot! Sometimes I legitimately feel like I live here. The nice ladies up at the front said that it was an aisle 10. I don't think that any of these are the right shape. No, uh, there's nothing big enough. Oh, a wheelbarrow. Oh, it's only two feet wide. Maybe I can do something with this? I have to do. I was just looking at my Postmates order and my pizza got canceled. I wonder what that's about. This is gonna be more of a process than I thought. I managed to find the epoxy resin. Okay guys, $300 later. So apparently they don't deliver to my house, so I have to go pick up the frickin' pizza. And it's like half an hour away. Now that's fine and dandy, but I don't know if it'll fit in my car. So we're about to find that out right now. If it is in fact three feet wide, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually drive with it in the front seat. I guess I have a truck bed, but that could just mess up the entire pizza. I'm gonna have to drive really careful. So I think I'm gonna have to go home and switch my SUV, that way the pizza can actually fit inside. There's only one downside to that. My other car has been freaking smoking whenever I drive it, so I don't know if it'll make it or not. But that is a risk I'm willing to take. 20 minutes later. Okay guys, so I just got home, and I was about to hop into this guy, but then I remembered. I still have this truck. I'm actually selling this one. I completely forgot I owned it. What? It's perfect because I'm pretty sure this is three feet. Plus, it's so hot back here. It'll keep my pizza nice and warm. I think I'm taking this truck instead. Okay. Moment of truth, guys. I haven't started this car in probably a month. Like a freaking champ. Okay, now time to drive half an hour to get this pizza. <laughs> Moments later. Oh, okay, guys, made it here in one piece. Let's go get our giant pizza. Guys, wow. This is so... <laughs> I'm gonna need another person to help me carry it. Oh my god. Grab it from the middle. Go ahead and grab your camera. Oh, and yeah. And open the door. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! One personal pizza for me. I feel like I need to strap this down. Oh gosh. It literally takes up over half my truck. Oh, let's try a slice. I got myself a whole chicken buffalo. And it looks delicious. Not a fan of ranch, but the pizza's pretty good. Okay, now it's time to carefully drive home. I'm trying not to mess up the giant pizza in the back of my truck. More moments later. Okay, I made it safely home. Oh my gosh. I feel the heat just radiating off this thing. Oh! Now 
This is a giant pizza, guys. Look at that. My only regret is getting it sliced. I think it would have looked probably a little bit better if I got the whole pizza, but you know what? It'll work. So I couldn't find something large enough for me to uh, put this pizza in and then encase it in resin. So. I bought this garden thing from home. I don't even know what this is, uh, but I decided I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it around the pizza. Oh God, don't touch it, please. Ah, uh, just like that. Snip off some of the extra bit right here. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue it together right here. Oh yes. Go ahead and give it a little clamp. Boop, boop, boop. It's hot. Okay, let that cool down a little bit. Just fill in all the holes. No resin is getting out of here. So for the bottom, I am gonna use this clear plastic thing. I bought it for my desk chair so that I could sprinkle on my carpet, but I got a better one. You know what? I think I'm gonna use the better one. Oh, yes. This one is quite a bit thicker. My chair's kind of rolled around on it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bottom because there isn't so many scratches. This guy, put it right in the center and hot glue it down. And hopefully I'll be able to make a good enough seal so the epoxy doesn't go through the bottom. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this bucket of water in here to see if uh, the seal will actually hold the epoxy. If it holds the water, I'm assuming it's gonna hold the epoxy. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if that's from me or if it's from the seal. Oh, yep, we definitely have a leak here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and turn this to see if there's any other spots. Oh, it looks like we got another spot right here. Oh, it's all coming out the side. I'm gonna try and cover it with this plastic. Then I'm gonna trim the outside. I'm gonna glue this down. Okay, guys. Oh. So far, so good. It's pretty dry over here. Let's see if there's any spots on the other side. We're looking pretty good. So now I have to carefully transfer the pizza into this pool. I also put a tarp down just in case it does go through the two layers of protection with the pool. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do my best to not mess up this pizza. Cut the pizza over a little bit. And I'm gonna take the little uh, stopper things. This is so the pizza doesn't get squished. I think that'll do it. Let's try pouring some resin. Okay, so resin pouring is actually pretty dangerous. It's important to be very well ventilated. That's why I have the fan in the background at full speed. And I'm also gonna be wearing this mask. Now let's pour some resin. I decided to use this, that way I can, you know, pour it on like a flat edge and it'll be nice and even, hopefully. Then we mix, mix, mix. Okay, now let's try pouring. I'm gonna need more resin. and it doesn't look like it completely covered the pizza. Every time I poke it down, it's like floating on the resin. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry for 24 hours and then I'm gonna put another coat all on the top. My gosh, this is one expensive table. So I guess I'll see you guys in about 24 hours. I've been letting this dry for about three hours now, and I don't think that the pizza is gonna float to the surface anymore. I'm actually going to add another layer of resin all the way over it, because there's still exposed pizza, and we don't want that. the next day. We got a lot of little air bubbles, which kind of sucks. It's fine. I got some really nice parts, like this turned out really good. I think I used the heat gun a little too much and then um, it started burning the pizza. Literally, it started smoking last night. This is also the first time I'm ever working with epoxy. Um, I don't know if I, I told you that during this process. Now I'm gonna go and sand down all the imperfections. I don't know 
entirely where I went wrong. I sanded it down and now I can't see the pizza. So I'm gonna try maybe putting another layer of resin just on a little patch of it and see if like filling it with resin kind of helps make it clear again. But if not, I think I'm gonna have to start all over, which kind of sucks because I spent like $700 on this so far. Oh, it looks like it's working. Well, it's genuinely good to know that it works like that. If you put more resin on, it will just make it more clear. Thanks, Hank Green. I would have never known that if it weren't for you. Now I guess I'll do uh, the rest of it to make it nice and shiny. Okay guys, uh, it's the next day. And it's pretty solid. Unfortunately, we still have some bubbles inside the resin, but there are some parts that are extremely clear and you can see straight down to the pepperoni. I think it's turning out pretty good. Now it's time to try and take this thing off. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Oh, hey intern, uh, uh, what's your name again? Mike. Oh, oh uh, I need you to help me with something. With what? Just, get, just come on, let's go. I need you to help me get out this giant pizza uh, from this resin thing. Dude, this looks gross. This looks like you just soaked pizza in snot. Dude, look how rock solid it is. Oh. Now that's hard. I need your help to get it out. It's gonna be kind of a challenge. I like challenges. We're gonna do this without damaging the pizza. Maybe if we just pull it up. Uh, Okay. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Now flip it over. Come on. Okay, oh. put it down. This plastic should just come right off. We got some cardboard stuck. What? <laughs> no! Oh. There's cardboard in here. There's a grease napkin stuck inside too. We can see all the details once we take this off. Okay. So now I put a lazy Susan on this table and we are gonna rest the entire pizza on this Lazy Susan so that I can shape it and turn it. Oh, be real careful. This is heavy. Pizza incoming. Here we go. Careful. Okay, ready? So now that we have it on our Lazy Susan and we can spin it freely, it's time to grind this bad boy down because there are a lot of sharp edges and a lot of bumps and little imperfections in this resin. So I'm gonna also shape it to look more like a pizza. There's also some wax paper stuck right in the middle here. It's kind of like just a patch. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get that out. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm gonna try my dang best, okay? Guys, I got it all over my pants. They started off black. Oh my gosh. I wish you go to Harbor Freight and get another full mask. <sighs> okay guys, so um, we got completely covered in the epoxy when we sanded it, and I felt like that was kind of dangerous. So we're actually gonna wear these protective shirts. They're full long sleeve, and we're also gonna wear full jumpsuits over it. That way we can't get it anywhere on us. And we're also wearing full face masks. Protection! Hey guys, it's really sunny in here now because I accidentally broke. All I did was try and pull up the blinds, and the whole blind fell down! I wish I was recording. Anyway, that's why it's so bright now. Now we are in full masks. Uh, go ahead and put this on. And we're putting on the undershirt over this. Oh my god, I just burped it. It smells so bad. And then we're putting this over this. And then we're also wearing gloves. Just to be extra cautious. I think we should be pretty protected now. Robbie is not liable <laughs> if I get hurt or harm myself in any way during this production. break because the tools keep overheating. There keeps being smoke that comes out of them. It's a little concerning. We're wearing the mask, but then I smell it. I'm like, Robbie, I smell smoke. Like if something's burning, dude. And that's that's usually when we've been stopping. My neighbors think I'm cooking. Six hours later. <laughs> we did it! Almost! 
Time up. We sanded the top down, we sanded the bottom down. Now we have to put on the leg very carefully. We can only make the legs so level, so we're gonna try our dang hardest. And then we're gonna put a final layer of resin on everything. Okay, so we gotta flip it up. So now we're putting on the leg. I'm gonna put two on at a time, and then we're gonna try and adjust them so that the table isn't wobbly. Although I don't know how well that's gonna work. Put this here, and then we're just gonna carefully flip it. This last one. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll go in and add the final leg so it doesn't jingle. That looks about right. Cool. Completely clean it off. We're gonna do the final glaze on the bottom. Okay, you ready, guys? Yeah. Get nice and close. Look how clear that is. Yes. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I have a couple hours until the epoxy is fully cured and I can start sanding it down again. So me and Tori Dobransky are gonna clean the garage. Mostly because when I do the final, final coat on the very top, I want it to be as clear as possible. I don't want any debris falling on it and give it, making it bumps. That's why we're cleaning the garage. It looks like it snowed in here. So much snow! Oh my gosh. So this is the final, final coat of glaze. This is gonna be the very top coat. I cleaned it off really good. I sanded it, and you guys are about to see the final pizza. You ready? Ooh. Whoa, look how clear. This is great. Spread it around nice and evenly. And I even have it on the Lazy Susan. Take all the extra glaze coat. Just put it right over it, just like that. Woo! Okay guys, it is the next day. It is rock hard, fully solid. There's only one more thing to do, and that's give it a good polish.
that I made out of rope. It took me 16 hours to make. If you guys want to watch that video, you can click right here. It's double-sided. Out with the old? If I die, be a pizza resin table. Everyone's gonna laugh at me. And in with the new. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, that's that spot right down there. Down in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think I should make next, and I might just do it in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Turn on all notifications. Make sure to check out my last video. And also, I've been posting vlogs finally on my vlog channel, so you guys can go uh, watch my newest vlog right over here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Over, oh, Daddy. Okay, bye. Ah!